Hi and welcome to NetCafe with Simon where we discuss everything networking related. In today's episode, peering in Azure virtual networks. So we're going to look at uh, what is peering, what are its benefits, types, and at the end we're going to run a quick demo using Azure virtual networks to demonstrate you how to use it, how to configure it. Let's jump to it. Peering simply is a service in Azure that help us to connect different virtual networks regardless if they are in the same or different regions. So we don't need to go for any expensive solutions such as VPN, point to site, site to site or express route. We can simply go for a peering solution that will help us to bridge the connectivity between different VNets. In this specific case, we are, we are using regional peering as both VNet1 and VNet2 are in the same US, US West region. While if we want to connect with VNet3 that is in a different UK West region, we're going to use a different type of peering, which is global peering. And basically that's it. It's a service that it's help us to create the connectivity between different vignettes in Azure. Before we go for the hands-on session in Azure, I have prepared a list of three benefits uh, so you can better understand the distinguished characteristics of using the Azure peering. First of all is performance. Once we decide to use peering, we don't need to stress about any extra latency. Secondly, Azure peering provides secure and private connectivity between virtual networks, making it an ideal solution for uh, different applications. Lastly, something that I have already mentioned, we don't need to use any complicated, expensive solutions such as VPN, point to site or express route to extend our connectivity to different virtual networks. Okay, so this is the setup for our hands-on demonstration. We have uh, two different uh, virtual networks with two different uh, VMs. We will configure VNet global VNet peering between them and then we'll run test RDP session to see if we can ping virtual machines. Let's jump to it. To make things easier, I have prepared this quick to-do list. We'll start with the creation of the resource group, then virtual network, production VNet network. We'll configure it with the appropriate subnet and its IP ranges. We'll move then in the point number four to creation of the second virtual network services VNet. We'll configure the subnet, database subnet. In point number six and seven, we have to create virtual machines. We'll run the first RDP session to see if we have a connectivity. This ping will fail. So we'll come back to our vi virtual network configure peering, and then we'll do the peering test. In Azure Portal, the first thing we have to do is the creation of the resource groups. We click create. Now we're giving the name of our resource groups. In uh, this case, we're going to put peering testing. For example, we select the region. In our case, we can put UK West. We click review and create. Validation has passed, perfect. And we now just click create. Waiting for deployment to be ready. And we have first task done. As a second task, we have to create virtual networks. So we select virtual networks, we click create. Now we're selecting our created resource group. We're giving the name of our virtual network. So in this case, it's going to be production VNet. Perfect. And we select the region, which is UK West. Let's move to the IP address. Let's remove the default IP address range and let's put 10.30.0.0 slash 16 perfect and now let's add the first subnet and the only one which is the production subnet production subnet and the ip address which is 10.30.0.0 slash 24 perfect now we click add okay and now we have uh, already configured virtual network we click review and create, waiting for the validation to be done. Validation passed. We click create. And now we're waiting for deployment of our virtualized environment to be ready. Okay, and we have already done second part of the exercise. Let's create second VNet. Let's click VNet. Click create. And now we are selecting the resource group, which is peering testing. The name for our virtualized network will be services VNet. And because we are creating the global peering, 
we are putting different region than UK West, in this case East US, we are putting the IP addresses 10.10.0.0/16. We add in the only subnet required for this exercise, which is database subnet. Database subnet with the IP 10.10.10.0/24. And we click add just like in the previous case normal security parameters we are not changing anything here we click review and create we click create waiting for deployment to be done waiting just a second really deployment is in progress and now deployment is completed perfect now we have two virtualized networks that we can use in the next part of the exercise, we are going to create virtual machines, VMs. Okay, so we are selecting the resource group. We're giving the name for our first VM, which is Pirin VM1. Perfect. And now we can select the region, which is UK West. We are selecting the image. I'm not going to select anything super advanced. Very simple VMs configuration, just to try the connectivity between them so let's say like this b1 general purpose we put the username and password for our vm already did that and now we can just click review and create to have the deployment of our virtualized machine okay so deployment is already done i have my first peering virtualized machine in uk west region in the peering testing resource group let's create the second virtualized machine and then we try to ping each other let's click virtualized machine create and now we are also selecting the same peering testing resource group we're putting the different name of course for our vm so in this case it's going to be peering vm2 in a different region which is east us Perfect. And now I'm going to also select some basic really configuration, which is a B1S, not very advanced. We put the username and password. I also already did that. Okay, so now everything looks good here. We can also look at the networking tab where we can see that Azure automatically connected our virtualized machine with the virtualized network. So we have here services vnet with our database subnet the only thing left is just to click create waiting for the validation to pass and now we waiting for the deployment to be ready okay so i have already deployed two virtualized machine i drove on the rdp file and now i'm trying to log into my first vm with admin vm username my password i click continue Click continue once again and now I'm waiting to connect to the public IP waiting second and now we are logging to first VM okay great now in uh, Windows PowerShell I can run IP config to see the IP address of our VNet one so we can see that it's a first available IP uh, assigned by the VNet so it's 10.30.0.4 we can also now run ipconfig on the second VM. So we just put ipconfig and now we can see the IP, which is 10.10.10.4. Okay, perfect. Now we have both IP addresses for the VMs. We can run a command similar to ping, which is testnet connection in Windows PowerShell. We're going to use 10.10.10.4 IP address. So we put the IP address and now we can also add port in this case it's uh, 3389 which is the rdp port waiting for the connection to establish waiting for the response and as expected the connection between two vms fails as there is no peering established between these both vms let's change it okay so now we are back in azure portal let's configure peering so to configure it we have to go to the virtualized network i'm going to select production vnet as one of our vnets 
So here we're going to select peerings as peerings is the characteristics of the virtualized network and now we are going to give the name to our peering link so in this case as i'm going to connect production and services vnet it's just going to be production to services vnet i'm leaving all the options as default so i'm going to allow the traffic to the remote virtualized network i'm going to allow traffic forwarded from remote virtual network time for the remote virtual network options so here also the name i'm going to put is services vnet to production vnet we are selecting the remote network in this case it's a services vnet we click add and now we're waiting for peering to be deployed Okay, perfect. We can go and see if it's already available in our virtual network. So we go to services VNet, we select peerings. Okay, nothing still here. We refresh. Okay, and now we can see that the link between services and production VNet is here. We can now go to production VNet. We go to peerings and we can also see that the peering that we just created is connected. Now the last part of our exercise, we will try our peering connectivity and we can see that the net test net connection was successful. We can ping the VM2 and let's try also to try the connectivity to VM1 and we see that also the TCP net status is true, which means the ping was successful. 